April 6, 2005, Monday, this four-year-old male neutered rabbit came in yesterday because he had not been eating and was lethargic. The stools were very thin and sticky. I palpated the abdomen and there was a big swollen stomach which you can actually see from here. That, look at the arrows. And uh, on further questioning, the owners say that the rabbit did eat a lot of cardboard boxes as they have moved to a new apartment. And therefore, the diagnosis based on the history would be gastric infection with cardboard pieces. Now, the rabbit was breathing very fast, which is a sign of pain. And uh, so I gave painkillers and uh, yesterday and then today I had the x-ray done with permission from the owner and as you can see, the stomach is really bloated with cardboard box pieces, cardboard pieces. And uh, I had given fibroplex yesterday three, three times and you can see that the, the cardboard is moved further down towards the rectum slowly. The rabbit looks better today and has just gone home. So the best is never, never let your rabbit have free access to cardboard boxes when you move to a new house or, or an apartment because the rabbit has plenty of time to, uh, to chew and eat cardboard boxes and this is the first time in four years that uh, this rabbit had this impaction. We previously, the last three, four years, the rabbit was in the old apartment and uh, did not have access to cardboard boxes. As you can see now, even the kidney, the kidney looks enlarged too. This is the kidney. Uh, here, the kidney is here. It looks enlarged as well. But the pain was mainly on this side, anterior abdomen, and the swelling was anterior abdomen, so there was definitely a gastric infection. Now you can see it. After fibroplex was given, there is some movement of the cardboard boxes towards the intestines and out to the rectum. Slowly, the owner has to do herself. Now, how to do it? This rabbit is very active, and uh, to prevent fracture of the spine, the best way to do it is to grip the scruff of the neck, put the rabbit on the table, and uh, one person grips the scruff of the neck. Then the other person will feed the rabbit with a fibroplex, and also water. Uh, in this case, antibiotics and uh, painkillers are given too. The important thing is to move the, the cardboard box into the intestines and to, be, to pass out. Otherwise, the rabbit is stressed out and dies from anorexia and dehydration. Yesterday, subcutaneous drips were given as well. Today, he looks better and has gone home now. 7.20 p.m. April 62015 Monday, Dr. Vets, Singapore.